Hi. <laughs> I have no plans for this. I just picked up the camera and started recording. <laughs> Ooh, I should redo that. Wait, watch this. Check this out. Hold on. You see that? You like a little transition right there? <laughs> okay. This is mad weird. I'm about to go to the gym. Who texting me right now? Young LA is. What'd they say? They actually just sent over the December 27th restock. I'll throw that in right here. Nah. Then some other things that I can't talk about. <laughs> it's kind of crooked though. Check this out. I'm house sitting. This isn't my place. But check these out. Fire, no? Mad dirty. Like so dirty. I don't know what activities took place with these things on, but I do not want to know. I should not have those on my face, actually. <laughs> um, so today we have delts and arms. So that's shoulders and arms. I like to run a scoop of essential pre-workout by Raw. This is about 200 milligrams of caffeine, so not too hyped up and a lot of the essential things that you need. But I also like to throw in a scoop of raw pump mix. Uh, just helps you get a little bit better blood flow. I like a lot of beta alanine just because I like the, the tingle. Helps me, it's kind of like a placebo effect. It makes me think like, oh, this is actually working, you know? It does actually work, but I have trust issues. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. I don't know what to expect out of this video. I literally five seconds ago picked up the camera and I was like, Fuck okay. it, and I pressed record, so I guess we'll see what comes out of this. <gasps> What'd you do? I think she pissed. Did you pee? Hold oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were right next to my foot. Look. Say hi! Say hi! Mm. Actually, actually orange and black fire. I'm wearing the Young LA compression, uh, excuse me, under this. And I got on gray sweats, so like, here, I'll give y'all a little fit check. Is it staying? Okay, uh, I got on this. <laughs> That's why I'm saying I can rock with the orange because it's like orange is mid black, you know what I'm saying? So we better step out to the gym. Let's do that. Ain't that motherfucker loud as shit? Big ass, fat ass head almost didn't fit through that damn uh, door. <laughs> oh, I got anxiety. Where's my shaker bottle at? All right. Pre, phone, wallet. No, it's squishing me. It's squishing me. It's squishing me. Stop. Can you tell I keep looking at my fucking self? God, it's annoying because I need to make sure like, I look good, but then I just talk to myself. I'm gonna talk to you now. Uh, yeah, we were gonna go hit Delton Arms, and I was just planning on coming home. I keep fucking looking at myself, man. We're gonna go hit Delton Arms, and I was. Back, never got a slip back. I think that's copyright. I don't know how that shit works. I don't know the rules. Um,. Yeah, I was planning on like just coming home, maybe playing video games with the bro, but and hanging out with the girls, the dog, and the cat. I'm alone. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see y'all there. Maybe I'll try to record some clips of me in the gym. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> right now, I'm focusing on, I don't give a shit how loud I grunt or how loud I fucking am. I need to be able to breathe. 
So apologies to everyone else in here, but I can't fucking breathe if I don't. So sorry. Bitch, who fucking put that there? My hands are full. Fuck. My rear belt's at least. These compression tanks are hands down my favorite ones that they dropped. We're having a restock December 27th though. December 27th they're dropping again because they're sold out right now. I already posted that on my Instagram and everything. This should be up before then. So right after Christmas, when you get that Christmas money, those Christmas gift cards, code DOM on all the, you know, restock products. Nicest guy over there, Mike. So I always need cuffs. I always forget to get my own cuffs because they help with like certain workouts, like what I'm about to do is, uh, cuff pull downs. And I always have to ask him for his. And he just gave me them. And then he said we have to do a leg workout together now, so. Now I'm just gonna get my fucking ass kicked by some dude. He's old too. I'm intimidated because he's old, but he'll fucking kick my ass on the leg, dude. Alright, heavy, 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 he
like it, like on a push day and a pull day, it's not so isolated to where I can work out more muscle groups. Cause like when you're doing a push day, you're focusing on hitting your chest a lot. But then the secondary muscle groups in that, like your chest is your primary muscle group. The secondary muscle group is going to be your triceps and like your front delt or some of your delt. On a pull day, the primary muscle group will be your back with your lats. Secondary muscle groups will be like your forearms and your and your biceps um, and like your rear delt. So being able to do rather than just a back day, I can do a back day with four good movements for my back, three most likely most of the time, and where I push those to absolute failure um, because that's really all you need. You don't need to do 28 different lifts, 28 different types of angles for to get growth. Okay. If you're training like three different movements to absolute failure, you're good. From there, you do about two movements for the other muscle groups. So I'll do like two biceps and then two shoulders and then I'm done. Um, so today I did delts and arms. I started off with lateral raises on the machine. Um, that's also a good warm up. Um, and so I did, I mean, y'all saw, I did my lateral raises and then I did uh, partial laterals. So whatever weight I was doing for the lateral raises, I want to look to increase that by about 50% if I can. And I'm looking to do about 30 reps with that weight at partial range of motion. So instead of doing a hole from the bottom all the way to the top and then back down, I'm really just going from the bottom to like there, like barely moving, but getting that extra, that heavy ass weight on there for such a high amount of reps, it helps you get a lot more blood to the muscle group. Okay. And it, it's kind of like a boom, like it hits that shit. Immediately after that, I'll go to the shoulder press, which y'all saw I was doing. By that point, I wasn't entirely warm yet. It takes me quite a while to get into the groove of my workout. It really is annoying, but it's okay. Um, I ended up doing what, 140? 140 for I think it was nine. Um, not bad, I'm pretty sure I've done better, but I've been off my game just a little bit recently. Um, and then what I do after that? From there, I went to rear, isolated rear delt flies. Um, a lot of people neglect their rear delts. You'll see a lot of people, like me personally, like going on to, when going onto stage, a lot of people, it's the first thing you'll notice from the back shots, pause, is they're lacking rear delts because you can't see it really when you're looking in the mirror head on. And if you're not thinking about that, you'll, you'll forget about it. You won't even care. Because most people, you know, they go here, they see the light, the, the side, right, or, the, the lateral delts, they don't, they don't even see the rear delts, so they don't care. Um, so I hit that, that was when I started getting going, right? And then immediately after that, I went into a cuffed, isolated tricep push down. I like to do cuffs because I don't have to worry about my grip giving out if like I, was using, I was using a rope, right? I need to get a different lens, I think. No, this is fine. Um, I like to do the cuff, like I said, because it takes away the forearm aspect of it. I just worry about pushing down and pulling through that cuff to activate the tricep. Um, after that, we went into preacher curls. Um, I like to use free weight for preacher curls. It's just preference. Um, I feel like I'm able to control the weight better, have a true feel of the weight rather than rely on a, a machine. And then we went to cuffed overhead. Oh no, we then went into uh, forward leaning, uh, incline curl standing, um, which hits the outside of your bicep and like your forearm, like right here where it ties into your forearm, like, like right there. And then we did, oh, cuffed overhead, like extension, katana extensions. I like those cause they get a pretty gnarly stretch with your lat all the way up and it focuses on keeping your shoulder down, but extending that tricep, it stretches right here pretty crazy. Um, yeah, didn't do core today. Uh, I'll probably do, I'll do, I'll do cardio today. I need to do cardio. I had some blueberries. I had some extra um, Brookside chocolates today that don't tell coach. So I'm about a month and a half away from prep. I start prep in mid-February. I'm doing a show on July 6th, the Kike Classic. And that's when it gets real serious. I mean, actually it gets serious now. It got serious a couple months ago, actually, for real. Um, but yeah, that was the workout. But the main thing that goes into any workout is it doesn't mean shit if you're training like a lazy bitch. If you're going into the gym and just lollygagging, not caring, just throwing around weight, not actually, like you're literally just like, like you're not doing shit, really. Um, you need to come into the gym with a set goal. 
um, and you need to train with intensity and if you're doing bodybuilding style training or I can't really speak on powerlifting training let me think yeah any type of training you need to train to failure uh, think about how, how can I exemplify this oh okay so say you take this is how building muscle works and this is a simple way to put hey peace out bro. this is a simple way to describe progressive overload okay so imagine you have a young kid okay they're very good at math you teach them from zero they have no idea what math is and you teach them all this stuff up until let's say algebra one okay so they are phenomenal they grew so much up until algebra one and then right when you hit algebra one, you never changed it. You really just gave them the same problems they've already seen before, stuff they already know how to do, perfectly fine, super easy. Um, it's not very hard for them at all. Um, at times it can be a tiny bit challenging, but not really, um, depending on certain factors, okay? So that means that kid is no longer going to progress in math. He's just going to stay bam right there he's not going to get any better he's not going to grow so in order when you're looking at it in terms of muscle your muscle will stop really growing you're not your body has no need to break down that muscle anymore it's not breaking anymore it's strong enough to withhold that so it's not going to break down thus it's not going to build back bigger than it was before through protein synthesis okay so that's why it's important every time you go into the gym to train to failure. You up the weight small bits at a time every time you come in, really by like 2.5 pounds. That's like the most you should increase at once really for a good steady progressive overload. Every week or every two weeks, you're either progressing in weight, in time under tension, or in reps, or in sets, okay? In weight, that means you're going up by like 2.5 pounds. In reps, you're doing more reps than you did last week with the exact same amount of weight. In sets, you're doing more sets with that same weight for the same reps. You're progressively overloading on the muscle, causing it to get weaker, to break down, because it had to be used at such a stimulating capacity that now afterwards, when you get into your protein and you eat your food and you eat what you're supposed to and you hydrate and you take care of your body, your body will build back that muscle and you'll become stronger, you'll become bigger. That is how it works in monkey terms. Me personally, whenever I'm learning something, I like to be taught it in, I, I always say in monkey terms because I need a steady foundation. Give me a steady foundation and I can build up from there. But if I don't have that steady foundation, shit's just gonna crumble real quick the second you throw a fucking, uh, a rogue pebble. That's really it. Uh, follow my Instagram, add me on Snapchat. All of them will be linked below. And make sure <laughs> to like and subscribe. I've never said that before, but yeah. Later, guys.